In this specific video, you're going to learn how to create a custom WordPress 404 page. Now, if you don't know what a 404 page is, it's basically if somebody comes to your site, they've clicked on a link and they're expecting something, and you've deleted that post or page, and they see a page that says 404 error, this page or post no longer exists. If they get to that page, then they're probably going to be upset that they can't find the information on your website. So you're going to need to have a process of tackling this problem. Now, most people will be tempted to go download a plugin that redirects people to the front page. Now, keep in mind, if you were the viewer and that happens, then you're simply trying to redirect people to the front page and you're not really tackling the problem itself. The key to resolving this issue is to be upfront and honest. And we're going to be using a plugin where it'll tell people, hey, you know, this page or post no longer exists. However, here's some links of recent posts or pages and you can do a search on the website. If you're upfront and honest, people are going to like that. They're going to see that and they're going to stay on your website, which is what you're trying to get them to do. So I'm going to hop on over to the WordPress dashboard here and we're going to go to the plugins section, click on add new. So you're going to simply search for custom 404, click on search plugins. And the one up the, at the top here, custom 404 air page, unlimited designs and colors. Go ahead and click on install now. Click OK. Enter your FTP username and password. Click proceed. Activate the plugin. And there we go. So if you click on this icon here that says TG, you can configure your 404 error page. Now, I like this plugin simply because you can customize the background color, the background pattern, and you can also include a custom bottom page. So you really can customize this page to your liking and to your website. So let's pick a color here. We're going to leave it, we'll pick gray the background pattern choose whatever you like and the custom bottom image there are several icons that you can include you can include useful links or you can leave that blank you can change the font and we'll leave this as is and we're going to change the text here we'll say something like sorry you have reached a page that no longer exists. However, feel free to search this website. And this box here allows you to show categories that show up useful posts. So you can just choose all categories here. It gives the user the ability to search for what they're looking for and click on Save Changes. So with this method you're upfront and honest with people that your page no longer exists. However, they can search for what they're looking for and you're basically giving them a call to action. You're telling people what they need to do in this situation. So now if I go back to the live site and I type in a page that does not exist, you'll notice at the bottom here that it says, sorry, you have reached a page that no longer exists. However, feel free to search this website. And then you'll notice at the bottom that it says, check these useful posts out. So it gives them the option of searching the site or checking out these useful posts. And of course, you can go back, customize the design, the look of everything, 
and until you like the custom page. And that's it.